Good morning and welcome to a new day in the sun. This is the place where we're going to rise together with the Lord, rely on His Holy Word, as we do each and every day of our lives. I invite you now to open up your scripture to Hosea, the third chapter, verse 1, where it reads, Even as the Lord loves. To help us launch into scripture, we're going to use Charles Spurgeon's Morning by Morning. Here's what he writes. Believer, look back through all your experience and think of the way in which the Lord your God has led you in the wilderness. How he has fed and clothed you every day. How he has suffered your poor behavior. How he has put up with all your murmurings and all your longings after the flesh pots of Egypt. How he has opened the rock to supply you and fed you with manna that came down from heaven. Think of how his grace has been sufficient for you in all your troubles. How his blood has been a part into you in all your sins. How his rod and his staff have comforted you. When you have then reflected upon the love of the Lord, let faith survey his love in the future. For remember that Christ's covenant and blood have something more in them than the past. He who has loved you and pardoned you will never cease to love and pardon. He is Alpha, and he shall be Omega also. He is first, and he shall be last. Therefore, remember when you pass through the valley of the shadow of death, you need fear no evil, for he is with you. When you stand in the cold floods of the Jordan, you need not fear for death cannot separate you from his love. And when you come into the mysteries of eternity, you need not tremble, for I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now soul, is not your love refreshed? Does not this make you love Jesus? Does not a survey of the vastness of God's loving care stir your heart and compel you to delight yourself in the Lord your God? Surely, as we meditate on the love of the Lord, our hearts burn within us and we long to love him more. You know, just the other day, brothers and sisters, I was reading to you, and my own ending, a little different than Spurgeon's, was that it all begins and ends with love. Love that started from before you were created to a love that will exist long after you. The reality is, our love is just a reflection of God's infinite love. And it's not that God has love but that God is love. It's a difficult concept for us because as humans, sometimes we fall in and out of love with others, companions, friends, people that have wronged us. And yet God's love is constant. Sure, there are moments in the Bible when we see God's wrath, God's fury, when God has to bring a righteous judgment upon people. But you know, the Bible tells us God grieves. Loving people grieve. Sometimes we have to do things that we don't want to do. Sometimes we have to say no to somebody we love because we know saying yes would just hurt them. So instead, we can choose to see how God's acts are still loving even when we don't fully comprehend them. That God isn't petty and cruel, but instead as a God of love is just, which is the story actually from the beginning to the end of the Bible. A just God who cannot tolerate injustice, who holiness, if we just think of the term whole, W-H-O-L-E, holiness, is holy, not H, W-H, 
is holy love. It can't have anything but. So God with his love cleans us up. And we start acting even as he loves. We start helping others to clean up their lives. We do what we can. We're not God. And we can't sacrifice ourselves to make others holy. Jesus did that once and for all. But what we can do is act lovingly. Act as he did. Be willing to sacrifice ourselves in a different way. A way that will reach others just as he came down. A way that will connect them with our Savior. Even as he is love. Let us act in that. Let us try to model ourselves, our every action and our thought like God's. To begin with love, to be love, and to end with love. My brothers and my sisters, walk forth this day in love and then return this evening and we can talk about that love together. God bless you. This is Motorcycle Pastor saying I'll see you this evening.